Greetings beautiful and beloved beings on the earth. We are the Andromedons, we come forth as a collective energy showering you in our vibrations, in our love and wisdom. It is an honor to be in your presence currently, ascension is quickening, unfolding, and developing. It is an exciting time as there are so many shifts, transformations, and changes occurring within your being and outside of you. We, the Andromedons wish to come forth to you today to speak of the sadness within. We feel the earth is releasing much fear and negativity, some of this is being released through your being. It is often that which already exists within your being, is attracted to you for you to release meaning the collective energy of a fear or stagnant energy held within the earth may be released through you if it is similar to the fear or negativity held within your being. Thus, you are able to master your being while releasing, cleansing, and purifying on behalf of humanity and Mother Earth. We wish to share with you tools that will support you in easily releasing the fear and negativity whether it is for your personal benefit or as a service to Mother Earth. Rather than focus on the negativity or fears held within your being, we, the Andromedons, wish to focus upon the sadness. We feel that sadness is a reflection of fear and negativity, often sadness is more personal and much easier for you to access. You may find that throughout your day different aspects and energies of sadness rise within your being. These energies of sadness have a way of being present that feels very normal and you become accustomed to its presence, even involved in its drama and vibration. By focusing upon the sadness within we believe it will be easier for you to connect and release this energy, therefore, bringing your attention to the sadness within your being. It is advisable to examine your day, especially at the end of a day to realize if you felt, sensed, or acknowledged any form of sadness. You may be able to list different forms of sadness, there may simply be one or maybe you do not notice any sadness. If this is the case, then we invite you to continue this process each night. Sadness can be like a judgment or a complaint, it does not have to be a bereavement, lack of confidence, or a lack of completion of something. It can also be a complaint, a judgment, or a blockage in an area in which you feel stuck, stagnant, unable to move or unable to recognize a new way forth. Listening to the Sadness Sadness can manifest in many different ways and can be connected to numerous different experiences. In order to master and release the sadness within there is first a need to recognize the presence of sadness in your daily life, as we said to document this whether it is one form of sadness, many, or maybe you do not notice any form of sadness. Then we encourage you to choose one form of sadness, to think of it to contemplate it during meditation and to predominantly sit with the sadness allowing the sadness to speak all of its words, everything that it wishes to express. Within the sadness there may be anger, frustration, a feeling of lack or being unsupported. Allow yourself to sit with the sadness as if the sadness were someone else and you simply wish to sit and listen to them. Listen to the sadness within, what it says, what it shares, how it makes you feel. Notice how it makes your body feel as well. Notice if the sadness creates a momentum moving from different emotions. As you sit with the sadness gradually it will begin to dissipate. While you may still feel it and its presence within your being, by being present with the sadness you are allowing the truth of the sadness to emerge. What is the sadness really trying to tell you? What is the truth of the sadness? It may be a lack of power, that healing or self-love is needed. It could be that you need to physically move yourself whether that is exercise or moving along Mother Earth. Allow yourself to really connect with the core of the sadness and what is needed. What is the message? It could be that you are giving your power away to others, or that you are not allowing yourself to experience the joy you wish to. Maybe you feel lonely or that there is a hurt or wound within your being. Allow yourself to discover the message, what is really taking place because often the sadness is the drama but there is a message underneath which is very subtle, very truthful, and when you connect with it you will notice that this sadness dissipates. Once you have connected with this message beneath the sadness then it is time to ask yourself, what action is needed? What do you need to shift, to alter, to transform, or put into action? Only you will know the answer to this. 
When the answer comes you will feel excited, empowered, and it will be for you to then put this into action. To experience it physically on the earth, in doing so you will shift the inner sadness, release fears, and negativity connected to the inner sadness that are personal to you, and also in service for Mother Earth and humanity. We, the Andromedons, are inviting you to achieve this now, because it is a clearing, purification, and supports the releasing of energies within Mother Earth, therefore, raising the vibration of Mother Earth and all beings. It creates the flow and momentum of the Divine Creator's energy throughout your being dissolving stagnant and stuck energies. And this is important in expanding your energies, expanding your consciousness, expanding your ascension, and moving forth in your mastery. In a time when so many shifts are taking place new possibilities and opportunities are ready. Liberating yourself will allow you to grasp these new opportunities and possibilities, manifesting all that is needed and all you desire for your fulfillment upon the earth. Now our practice is simple and yet we feel it is immensely powerful. We encourage you to acknowledge the sadness within you as a deep healing and a release process. Know this healing and release process spans across the entire dimensions of your being, past lifetimes, and civilizations you have been connected with. It is a very deep and thorough cleansing, healing, and purification, which is needed we believe at this time. Please know that you may call upon us the Andromedons to assist you, surround you, and support you in this process. Be patient with the sadness, it is like a flower bud waiting to open. Sometimes it takes your attention, focus, and patience in order for it to open up and reveal itself. We wish you all the very best in your journey of shifting the sadness within and acknowledging the beauty that manifests in its place. We thank you. Andromedons